arrested shortly after Tom Doolin was. And she was also brought here to the old Wilkes County Jail. And she was kept in this cell right here until she also was later transported to Iredale County, to the Iredale County Jailhouse. Zionville Baptist Church on the North Carolina-Tennessee line up above Watauga County in a small hamlet called Zionville. It's here that James Grayson was buried. James Grayson was instrumental in bringing Tom Dooley back from Tennessee. We're here in Mountain City, Tennessee uh, with uh, Mr. Frank Grayson. How you doing, Frank? Doing fine. Yeah. Good to have you on the program. Thank you. You're welcome. Now, I understand that you're a relative of Colonel James Grayson. Yes, now, how he, are you related to him? He was my great-grandfather. Your great-grandfather, James Grayson. And I understand that you now are the owner of the, the pistol that he had with him when uh, he took Tom Dooley into custody over here on Doe Creek. Is that's that, that's, right. Would that happen to be the pistol? This is the pistol. It's a, a 32 rim bar. That's the way you get your holes out. Oh. Because they said that, you know, they pick, he picked up, a, picked up a rock and arrested him, said, but it wasn't that rock that got him, it was this pistol right well, there, really. he had the pistol in his saddle pocket. It had it in Yeah, his... and he picked up a rock, and Tom was sitting in the middle of the creek on a flat rock soaking his feet. His new uh, boots had, had blistered his feet. Had new boots that he, uh -huh. he bought yeah. with the money from working for your great-grandpa yeah, on his farm. that's after. right. He come there with just the uppers on his shoes, had no soles. Right. And he stayed long enough to work him out a pair of boots, and he got up, slipped off one morning before daylight. And uh, this posse come along from Wilkes County, the Foster West, that's the two deputies, but mm -hmm. I've always heard this more. And of course, anyway, they went, uh, they identified the man he gave my grandpa his name as uh, Thomas Hall. Changed so, his name. Yeah, changed his name. So they followed him to what? Taylorsville, which is now Mountain City. Right. And they went to the jail to get the sheriff. And the sheriff was in Shady Valley about 14 miles away and had been there all night. They didn't know when he would be home. Uh -huh. So then they decided to make a citizen's arrest. Because if they didn't get him in, they might not have got him. That's right. That so they was found there. out he'd made a, a left turn out here and went down to Old Valley. And of course, as I said, they found him in, sitting in the middle of the creek soaking his feet. Soaking those blisters. Yeah. <laughs> Great grandpa picked up a rock and says, Tom, you're under arrest for the murder of Larry Forster. And he didn't give any resistance. He come right out. So somebody, I don't know, some of Grandpa's work camp went with them. And uh, they, it might have been some of them. Somebody said, let's hang him here. Mm -hmm. They were going to lynch him right there on yeah, the spot. Yeah, and so that's when the old man got the pistol and shot it in the air. And he said, he's my prisoner while he's in Tennessee. Right. And that's not all. I'm taking him back to North Carolina for a fair trial. So they all come back to trade up on Drake's Creek. And the old log house, it's not there anymore, but that's where they all stayed. And my grandpa was a young boy, and he guarded Tom, and they said that Tom fiddled till bedtime. And, uh, well, he said he fiddled till bedtime every night. I don't know if he did that night or not. But anyway, he said that he, he didn't need a guard. He slept like a log all night and didn't, didn't be worried about being guilty. So the next morning, my great-grandpa dealt in, in horses among other things. So he saddled up a good sure-footed horse and he, he put Tom on the horse and put a rope around one ankle and put it under the horse's belly and tied it on the other ankle. He said, now Tom, your hands are loose to ride to, to handle the reins. So he tied, tied his feet underneath the yeah, horse and yeah, that's how he was... Yeah, if the horse had fallen, right. he'd been into it, wouldn't he? would. <laughs> but they took him back to Wilkesburg and of course uh, any, none of the trials, great grandpa was never back there and he tried for his like the last time, uh, he was in legislature was in Tennessee, wasn't he? Was in legislature in Nashville. Right, that's at, right. At the time of his trial. Very good. So if it, would it be okay if I held yeah, the pistol? Yeah. This is written. There's a date on the on the barrel of D Moore, capital D M double O R E, right along the top of the barrel. I think you can turn it around that way and maybe see it. 18, oh yes, 1860. 1860. Yeah, 1860. It'll be doing Social Security, hadn't it? It should. And folks, let me tell you, this right here isn't an imitation. This is the real thing here. This is the original pistol that was owned by Colonel James Grayson and the one he took Tom Dooley into custody with. This was old nickel at one time. It's brass now. Okay. It's worn out because it's 135 years old. 
And I have to tell you, I, I really get a charge out of holding a piece of history in my hand. It's very seldom when you can reach out and touch a piece of history, folks. Well, Frank, I certainly appreciate you letting me into your home and, and give me that, that information. And uh, like I said, we're here in Mountain City, Tennessee with the grandson, the great-grandson of James Grayson. Thank you very much. Well, you're welcome. Buddy.